No. Yeah, good morning. Just, 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 just on, 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 sure. on that, Kahir. Sorry. Yeah. On that, Kahir, because I speak as, as, as an educator myself of, of 16 odd years in the school and in the classroom of 20 odd years. I think the minister's comments are, are, are actually, you know, nobody has questioned the professionalism of the teacher, and she's right in that. And, and it is about ensuring that we do receive, uh, that the student receives due regard for the work put in. Um, but I think, I think we need to be very careful in a new model of delivery of, of education, uh, that the appeal system is wide-ranging, is open, it is transparent, and is not narrow, and is not you know, confined within the prisons of certain operations. Minister, I understand where you're coming from. Uh, I, I, if you look at the transformative changes in, in, in terms of the post-leaving cert operations, in terms of how, how we can appeal marks, how we can view scripts, uh, how we can come in post the publication of results. There's an opportunity now that I think we need to grasp in, in the context of our leaving certificate. Uh, and in this section that has been put forward, in terms of this section here, I, I, I wonder, Minister, in, in the context of the, of the commission and of, of the whole exam branch, is there any willingness within the department secretariat, bureaucracy, uh, to, to, to look at how we can make the accredited grade part of the future of the Leaving Cert in the future. Um, I came from a generation um, that we had to learn off poetry, we had PEG, and, and I have to say, Cahirlock, you're probably of the same generation. I actually love PEG. Absolutely. <laughs> I love PEG, and I, I'm probably in a minority of one uh, in saying that. Um, but what I didn't like was, 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 was other aspects of the Leaving Cert of the rote learning and I think my, my concern minister now uh, and I know we're in a se particular section here in the whole context of the review is that we don't come with a straight jacket approach to the review section to, to allow we've, 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 we've changed the model of education we've empowered more people we've, we've more engagement uh, we've more consultative processes we have a wider variety of activity um, from parents to pupils to boards of management and my one concern is the fundamental end result of our leaving cert or of our end of school time is what, do this, what does the student leave school in terms of their qualification with? And if the student is in some way dissatisfied for whatever reason, I believe personally that we have an, obli an obligation to ensure that that student at the end of the process that their final determination, they should be able to have an appeal or they should be able to have their, their own performance if they feel that they can have that further looked into, done so. And, and I, I admire the work that's been done by you, Minister, and that was done by Joe McHugh before you in the context that the changes brought up, brought, I suppose, foisted upon us at one level, which, we, which you know, ha have made a, a different type of, of, of exam process. Um, and I suppose it's the welfare of the student that we want to look at as well in the context of, and I'm a big believer, Kahirlik, in Maslow, in reaching that point of self-actualization. And, and if you look at the end of the process, if we can say to the student, well, you've, 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 you, you have exhausted all avenues then we, you know, we, we should be able to do that. But Minister, I, I understand where you're coming from, but I'm just worried that we're not prepared, um, whether it's the exam commission or the department, I don't know, that, that we, we, we will allow that kind of end game to be done in, in a more thorough way than we're doing at the moment. But I, I, I understand where you're coming from, and, and I support you in what you're doing. But I, I just hope that we can, we can allow for the candidate, which is an awful word I know in the bill, but it's the student, and, and that student is a person, and that person is in the family. And we all know the stresses and strains of doing an ordinary leaving cert prior to COVID-19, and then you add in the whole blended learning part, the on-off, being in school, and, and now with the exam. So, so Minister, um, I hope that, the, that you can, as, a, as, as, as on Tara, at the end of your tenure, whenever that will be, leave a legacy of real reform. And, and I, would, I, would, I would actually urge you um, as, as the Minister for Education, to be that innovative, progressive 
minister uh, and, and to abandon the shackles, if there's any there, to, to make our education system a different type, a more innovative, student-centred, centered, more student-centred than what it is. And I'll finish in this section here, Kyle. The minister is right. The professionalism of our teachers and of, our, of, of those who, who, who educate our young people is absolutely unbelievable. Their quality, their dedication, and their concern, and I've seen it um, as, as, as an educator outside, married to an educator, the uncle of a student doing Leaving Cert, um, and I've seen the work that's been undertaken. But I hope that we can go to the end of the bridge to make it a, a really different, uh, you know, Leaving Cert in 2022. Grimagos.